Hey out there. Saturday, September 29th. Yeah, Saturday. It's been a warm Saturday here in Southern California. Yeah, it was uh, 93, 94 today. It's supposed to be 100, we'll see. I also had another issue with the alternator. It's been going on for a while. Alternator making noise. I think maybe a bearing or something is going out in it. So luckily I have a spare alternator. I have the factory alternator. There's nothing wrong with it. I think I'll drop it back in here and pull the old alternator out and maybe have it repaired somewhere. I don't know. Well, it's a Power Master 160 amp alternator, so we'll we'll see. But I wanted to do a little test here. Uh, right now the battery is uh, the battery is the battery is 12.24 uh, volts hmm huh I drove it once this morning to go get it smog checked and that didn't work out very good still didn't get it smog checked but anyway all right here's a quick overview here this is the power master and this is the Ford factory alternator hey you know what? This one looks like it's got a smaller pulley on it. Hmm. Anyway, bigger all over time. Shut up! Uh, bigger all over diameter. Hmm. Seems like it. And then this one. This one, I don't know, you can hear with all the noise around here. This one's... Sounds like bearings or something are going out in it. It's got a clunk clunk sound. This one's nice and smooth. So we'll put this one in and maybe I can have this one repaired. Yeah. And another thing is Here's the main wire off the alternator. I don't know what gauge that is, but if you look at this one, okay, this is my Super Duty. Look at the one in the Super Duty. This is the wire coming, main wire coming off the alternator. Much bigger. This is a high amp, a high output alternator too. I don't know how many amps it is, but this is what comes factory in this truck. But they recommend you upgrade this wire when you upgrade to a bigger alternator. So I never did mine. I haven't had any problems, but just something to think about. Okay, this is for you that don't know whole lot about alternators but sometimes your alternator may go out and you don't know why you know it's spinning right it's not charging your battery well it could be that the brushes are wore out okay so this is a brush like an alternator brush repair kit or replacement kit this is like eight bucks that's all it is okay these are the brushes right here. These stick out and right against the moving parts in the alternator. Okay? Alright. So anyway, this is real easy to do. This is the piece you gotta take off. See, it's got four screws in it. Or see where the holes are. One, two, three, four. Mounts in like that. Okay. You gotta have a torque bit. I forget what number this is. See the torque bit? Really, you take those four screws out and this thing comes out just like that. Okay. And like I said, these brushes are spring loaded. And see how they're worn with a, like a little U shape, a little rounded edge here? Okay. And you can see these ones. Fucking neighbor's dog. Look how much bigger these are. Okay, so what you gotta do now is remove this. 
from this piece here, which is just these two screws, see this is actually two pieces. See now that's why I don't want a gun, I'd probably shoot that dog by now. Okay, so a neighbor's dog is barking and is making my dog bark now. Nice. I'm gonna kill somebody pretty soon. Anyway, okay, took the two screws out. That pulls apart. And that's it. Okay, there it is, reassembled. It's only these little two screws right here. That one and that one. It comes with a new screw, so I like using the new screws. So now to get it back in, you need to compress these and hold them in place. So that's what that hole is. See that hole there? In that hole right there, by my finger, it comes with this little bar. Now you don't you have to use this little bar. If you don't have this little bar, you can use a paper clip. Is that what they're called? Paper clips, yeah, paper clips. And you and you put that in the hole there line the holes up and drop this in and that'll keep them locked into place so hang on there okay there you go see they're locked in place see that with that little pin new ones okay so now this just drops back in there just like that yeah Put the little torque screws back in there. This is a, a cheap fix if you don't want to buy a new alternator and uh, money's tight, you know, and the bearings are good. And uh, everything else is good. This might get you through for another 30,000, 40,000. Who knows? All right, and there you go. There you have it. Yeah. So now all I got to do is pull a little pin out. Okay, there's a little pin. Throw it back in the box, and now the brushes are now making contact with the stator. I believe that's what it's called. It's been a while since I took uh, electronics class, but yeah, I think that's what it's called. Computator, I don't know, stator. But anyway, this that should fix your problem. If your alternator is not putting out voltage, it also has some diodes and stuff in here, but I've never had to mess with that. I don't know. So anyway, this is in response to a message I got the other day from Gage. Wondering uh, why I haven't made a video in a while. Well, I haven't been doing anything for a few weeks now. I've been out of work, you know. Don't know where my next paycheck is coming from. Well, that was... Two weeks ago, I finally got paid this week. Went back to work, so. Bad part about that is you got a stack of bills there you gotta pay, so there goes your first paycheck. So, like I said, for right now, I'll put the factory alternator back in the Bronco. It's still good, nothing wrong with it. <clears throat> That's the next project. I gotta get that thing registered. And here in California, you gotta have it smogs. Now back in July when the headers were out and I had to put new headers in, I couldn't get it smogged until I got the headers fixed and by then the registration would have expired. And so here in California you can't just let your registration slide. You gotta you gotta register it in op. And that costs ten bucks. So I registered it as in op. Now you can't just let the registration slide, but then you're gonna get fined when you do come around to register it. So it's a bunch of bullshit, you know. So anyway, gotta get it smog next week. I think I'll do that next week. Next paycheck's coming around finally. It's be my second paycheck. Catch up on some bills. Get it smog. Get it registered. And we're legal back on the road again. Not like. Last month when I was driving around with no, no tags, illegally, you know, just taking my chances. Hmm.